All right, hey guys, just wanted to show this uh, tablet laptop that I got from work to do a little tinkering on. It's a HP TC4400. It's got a 2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo processor with 2 gigs of DDR2 RAM. It's expandable up to 4 gigs, so that'd be 2 slots, 2 gigs a piece. But um, right now I'm running Ubuntu 10.10 on it, and it's running great. I mean, 2 gigs is plenty for it right now. It's got a 120 gig, 5400 RPM SATA hard drive. It's a 12.1 inch display. It's 1024 by 768 max res, which for this laptop is totally fine. It looks great. Um, chipset is a mobile Intel 945 GM Express and the video is a Intel GMA 950 the video is fine I mean the effects work fine Compiz works great on it um, I can play HD videos without any problem so I'm really happy with the way this thing runs Ubuntu runs great on it <clears throat> it's got a video out of a VGA and S video so you can hook it up to a TV there's also a uh, fingerprint scanner which is really cool so if you um, want to do your password with your fingerprint it really saves you a lot of time like uh, I'll do like the standard sudo app get update normally it's gonna prompt you there for the password and I just swipe my thumb across there you saw it said not identified I I need to re-swipe my thumb actually but there you can see it totally works as long as you uh, scan properly saves you a little time especially if your password is long I like that uh, this tablet also has uh, gigabit wired NIC on it it's also got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth I'm running off of Wi-Fi right now and it also has a uh, digital pen eraser stylus you can see that right here it's got the uh, stylus tip and it's actually got an eraser on the end there it's pretty cool I'll demo that in a second here it's also got a uh, five-in-one card reader and three USB ports and a pretty much a full-size keyboard on it now as far as uh, the software, some of the stuff that I got going on with this, uh, like I said I'm using Ubuntu 10.10. I'm not really happy with where they're going with Unity in version 11 and uh, I'm still waiting to see what 12 is going to be like but I have a feeling I'm, I'm really not going to like the direction they're still going in. We'll see. Um, the theme that I'm using on this is Radiance and I'm using a OS X Lion mod for the window control so I can have it look more like a Mac there I'm not using a uh, top and bottom bar or panel like they use in the default I just have the one top panel it's got all my uh, app tabs running up there all my system tray icons and I'm using a uh, standard no menu there. I, I don't have all the like other stuff broke out. It cleans up the taskbar more, but everything's all in this one menu here. But I also have the uh, mint menu because I just wanted to kind of play with it a little bit, see what I thought of it. Um, I'm using Conkey for the system stats up there. It's got everything I need to know, like my hard drive space. RAM used and uh, how much RAM total, my CPU, the battery power, uh, Wi-Fi signal, my IP address, the date, and the time. And then I'm also using uh, Free Mateo Screenlet for the weather there. The top portion there, that's Conkey again, and it's using the uh, Gotham. I think was the uh, theme I used on that. I, I had to tweak it to make it have all the settings in there that I wanted, but that's 
that's the uh, Conkey config for that. And then as you can see, I'm using the Cairo dock down at the bottom. Uh, as far as comp is goes, you can see when you minimize or restore a window, I'm using the Magic Genie effect. Closing a window, I use the burn to uh, open a window, I give it the beam up effect. It's probably kind of a little tough to see that there. <clears throat> um, and then also the, some of the co other compass effects like uh, doing the the desktop uh, oh, let me see here. There we go. You can fold the desktop down into your four workspaces let it fold back up or you can do the desktop cube. Uh, another feature I really love with Ubuntu with the effects is um, when you have multiple windows open let me get these open up here again sorry about that when you have multiple windows open and you do uh, Super W it gives like the expose effect like Mac uses. That's pretty handy when you got a lot of windows open and you want to just get a quick thumbnail view of them to pop back. And another effect is the workspaces there. You can double click to go to whichever one you want. And the cursor I'm using is Eclipse pretty clean looking. One thing that's kind of weird my son was saying when, when he uh, go into a text window like here you can see the cursor changes you can barely notice it especially when it's going over other text there but I actually like that better because in Windows most of the time the text cursor is in your way and you start typing and it's if it's still sitting there it's right in your way you can't see what you're doing so I like how this one even if it isn't in, in the way of the text it's not going to make a big difference. I'm using Desktop Nova for the wallpapers to switch them. They're set on a one minute interval, but you can also click the tray icon up there and cycle through them manually. You'll see my Conkey kind of uh, pops in and out when the wallpapers change. That's really not a, that big of a deal to me, um, but I have it set the way it's configured if I don't have it configured as a non-window when it cycles the next wallpaper you'd see a background behind it for a moment before it switches so I don't really like that look so I just uh, use that config of it instead. Um, Gnome Do is a fantastic launcher for Ubuntu. You just hit super space and it pops up and as soon as you start typing something it instantly recognizes apps that you might be looking for. In this case we got Zernal. I'm going to give you a quick little demo of that. So I just hit enter once I see Zernal in there. <clears throat> this is an uh, example of the stylus. pretty cool. It writes really smooth. I mean, you, you really feel like you're using a, uh, a pen there. And the stylus, what's cool is when you flip it around to the other side, the eraser actually works as an eraser. When you flip it back, you can uh, start typing again. You can see in, in Zernal here, it's not um, detecting when I switch. When you're in GIMP, it actually does. Once you set the eraser once, it'll actually detect when you're in uh, the stylus tip mode or if you're in the eraser mode. Uh, also the on-screen keyboard because this is a tablet so you can switch into the tablet mode. Uh, onboard is the virtual keyboard that comes with Ubuntu. It's okay, I mean it works, but it's kind of ugly looking. What I put on here is Florence. You can see this is a lot cleaner looking. Looks pretty sleek. And of course there you can see the window effects. Uh, wobbly windows from Compiz.
So, uh, just wanted to kind of show how cool this uh, little tablet is, how powerful it is, and Ubuntu works awesome on it. Uh, if anybody has any questions, just post a comment, and uh, thanks for watching.